Braden Yeager scores his 21st he, he of the season with 31 seconds to go in the hockey I'll, game. And Braden joins us outside the Warriors yeah, locker room. Braden, um, I think that goal is the definition of a Yeager bomb. Is it not yeah. take us through that goal uh, yeah, to win the hockey game for the Moose Warriors? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously five on threes, uh, you're going to get opportunities. And, um, you know, kind of thought I had a little bit of space to walk in and shoot. And, uh, you know, I think it, uh, I think it deflected off their D man or something and went in. And, um, but yeah, I thought it, I thought it went off ass and he got his hat trick, but, you know, I'll take it. Braden, that, that, that power play unit that you're on, how do you stay predictable within the unit, but unpredictable to the opposition and be able to get drives on that, not maybe passing yourselves out of play? Well, yeah, I think when you're playing with, you know, four players that are, um, you know, so highly skilled and so smart, I think uh, it's, you know, it's pretty easy. Yeah, you know, they're um, obviously we have, you know, Kinger drawing up plays and stuff like that. So, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, pretty easy. But, um, yeah, I think just finding open space and, um, you know, moving the puck pretty quick and, you know, making sure we're getting pucks to the net. And obviously, Atz is, uh, you know, pretty good down there. So, um, you know, he'll smash away the, the rebound. That was a battle tonight. It seemed emotional. It seemed physical out on the ice. How hard is it to, you know, control your emotions in a tight hockey game like this? Yeah, I think both both games this weekend were, you know, fast paced and, you know, the way they played really hard and so do we. So, um, yeah, I think uh, you know, it was pretty physical and, you know, I think uh, not to just get pushed around. I think, you know, we did a pretty good job of, you know, pushing back and um, you know, not, not letting our foot off the gas. So, um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, a couple calls didn't go our way, but um, yeah, I thought we were, we were, uh, you know, pretty determined and uh, did a pretty good job, uh, you know, fighting through it. I know it's a, it's a nice weekend for the Warriors as you win back-to-back games. Smith Current plays a very similar style to the Medicine Hat Tigers, who you'll see next weekend in a home-and-home -home series. Was this a good, you know, tune-up or preview of what you guys can expect next weekend? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, you know, two teams that are you know, kind of close to us in the standings, and, um, you know, I think we're kind of just looking to – you know, move on up a little bit more. And obviously, Med Hat, uh, you know, they're fast and, and physical and, you know, they play hard too. So, um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, a real good test for us to, um, you know, get a taste of, you know, some pretty good hockey. And, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, just keep building into, you know, next weekend. Braden Yeager, the overtime, sorry, Braden Yeager, the power play goal to win this hockey game for the Moose Jaw Warriors. Uh, Braden, congratulations on the win. Enjoy the rest of the night. Enjoy your Sunday as well. Thanks, James. You too.